Crazy Mike from CrazyMike'sApps.com with an iPad app demo for Tab Flash, Disk on the Go, OrganiDoc HD. This application comes to us from Wenjoy Technologies, Inc. is in the productivity category, works on an iPad or iPad 2, and sells for only $2.99. There is an iPhone version called Flash Disk on the Go, OrganiDoc, that works on the iPhone and iPod Touch and sells for $4.99. This application turns your iPad into a mobile flash drive as well as an awesome file manager that lets you organize your documents, photos, and media. So you can get files off the cloud onto your iPad and then onto your computer or vice versa. You can take files out of email, uh, email files, and so on, upload to the cloud. Lots of different functionality. Let's take a look at how this application works. On the left side, you'll see the different areas to manage your files. I'm currently in my iPad. There is cloud storage. I've linked my Dropbox and Google Documents accounts. If I tap on Edit, I can actually tap the plus and I can add from a variety of other locations like my mobile me, uh, iDisk, uh, iDisk area, Box.net, and so on. Very easy to do, done, and there you go. You have a protected file area where you can put documents, files, and media, such as videos, in there. And then you have a iTunes file sharing queue where you can manage your documents that you're going to share to your computer via this application. So we'll go ahead, exit out of here, and we'll start with my iPad and look at the first folder. There are a variety of folders. You can tap on here to access one of these documents that are in there and then once you do you can actually read the document from within by swiping left to right you can zoom in zoom out Um, you also have the functionality of advancing to a page easily by one touch down at the bottom you can tap here and you can export the file to iTunes and I'll do that and it'll put it into that queue and I'll show you that later upload to cloud storage now once I tap on there it's going to give me the accounts that I'm synced with and or I could open this in other applications that are currently on my iPad such as iBooks or Evernote. Tap out of there, I can email this easily. I can change the file name by tapping here. I can also send it to my protected file area simply by tapping there, delete it, and you can also get information about the file, how big it is, and so on. And you can also air print very easily from within this application. You can do the same with photos as well as media. In addition to photos and media area, you can actually use the iPad to take a photo of yourself as well as a video. Also, you can select photos and videos off of your camera roll and upload them into this application or import them into this application. And you can do some other functionality like sharing those photos or videos. Now, the cloud storage area, I've already showed you how to add the different accounts. You can tap on one of my cloud storage areas is Dropbox, and I can tap on this Android document. If I want to download this to my iPad, I can do that. I can also export this to the iTunes queue or open in, again, a variety of applications on my iPad. Go back out of here. Again, lots of functionality. We can go to the protected file area. I'll put in my password. And we'll go in, and once you get in here, you can see your documents that you've added. I added one of those earlier, or both of those earlier. There's also photos and media as well. Oh, I don't have any video in there. So go to the file, the iTunes file sharing. You can see I added the reinventing business. Um, So that's where it goes. When I sync my iPad to my iTunes or on my computer, I can transport that file over that way. Now, again, you can also tap on the Wi-Fi Uh, symbol down on the lower left and you can upload documents or transmit documents through your Wi-Fi through URL uh, between your computer as well as this your iPad and then finally the settings button here you can change your passcode to your protected file area uh, contact them through um, technical support and so on some other things here is the more button that takes you out of the application but it's beneficial because the iPhone and iPad FAQs will help you if you have any trouble at all and you can actually download those to the document you press on uh, English here and it'll give you the FAQ section and when you do that you tap on FAQs and you can go ahead and download the English manual for the iPhone and iPad and between the two of them you'll have all your questions answered on how to use this application all the features and functionality we'll go back out of there back to documents and we'll go over here and back out to our folders and that is tab flash disk on the go or Doc hd by wenjoy technologies inc check this one out if you're looking for a really slick 
file manager, as well as a mobile flash drive for your iPad or iPhone. Until next time, this has been Crazy Mike saying see ya.